the kick but I'll be using some uh, adobo sauce for that kick and also some jalapeno uh, marble cheese okay see you guys with the Filipino spaghetti and Filipino chicken I love fried chicken but it's not chi uh, fried see you guys butter is another secret ingredient that I forgot to mention so I, I'm trying to saute the ground pork and I have placed the chicken uh, not to crowd them and I'm going to be um, covering them and the stove is being preheated to 350 I'm going to place uh, one and I'm going to be placing them for 350 um, for 20 minutes and then I'm going to uh, let it rest for at least another 5 to 7 minutes for 275 and I'm going to be cooking them another 5 minutes in the stove and it's going to be like so delicious uh, way better than frying it but it's going to taste like it's fried like I said I'm going to be doing two um, kind of flavor uh, honey garlic and um, parmesan cheese um, the flavors there has been marinated with uh, pop, actually coke, and a lot, a lot of garlic and some smoked paprika and a little cayenne pepper for the, the kick. But I'll be using some uh, adobo sauce for that kick and also some jalapeno uh, marble cheese. Okay, see you guys with the Filipino spaghetti and Filipino chicken. I love fried chicken, but it's not uh, fried. See you guys. Okay guys, so I cooked it for 25 minutes. I baked it, so it's so good. That alone is good, but um, my kids, they like um, sort of like a honey garlic, like fried chicken-ish. So I'm going to kind of um, uh, cook that in the cook uh, stove. And I'm just gonna put the honey garlic, right? Uh, I just have to buy the garlic. I have to step out. Anyway, it's, um, it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet, but yeah, so that. And the juice, guys, I'm going to put in a pan. I have already made a pan, right? Sorry. And I'm going to be using that as sort of like um, the sauce for it, okay? So give it a rest um, and let the flavor go back to, its, um, to the muscles, right? So I'm going to let it sit and then I'm going to saute it with it. Uh, with the flavor I'm gonna show you guys okay guys oh my god this smells so good and I tried it already it's so good <laughs> um and I made uh, because of the sausages that we bought it's frozen so it's a honey garlic flavor so I put parsley in there already for freshness and um, later on I'm just gonna saute the tomato and saute garlic but then I have to grab garlic and um because i'm making honey garlic um chicken i added a little brown sugar here because and a little honey um if uh, my kids wants uh, more uh, sweetness to this they can just add and i'm gonna finalize this uh with the secret ingredients which is the banana ketchup okay it's a tomato um uh, flavored banana ketchup that you can buy sometimes it's only a dollar 29 for a whole small bottle and you have to put the whole thing in here because that is the key ingredient to this um, Filipino spaghetti it becomes Filipino spaghetti no matter um, what ingredients you really put and you end up with the banana ketchup then it becomes Filipino so I'm gonna combine these two together it will be um, yummy the liver spread it's so good guys okay see you guys uh, soon hey guys you guys want to know another secret to my um, yummy Filipino um, spaghetti Jeez. you can put two or three slices okay like I said this is a honey garlic um, sausage that I'll be adding on to my ground beef um, I added that um, my apologies I couldn't uh, the, the liver spread that really adds to the flavor and I'm gonna sprinkle with a little brown sugar um, to balance the acidity because of the tomato, tomato paste and also the tomato banana ketchup that you can buy from an um, Asian uh, store but it has to be Filipino banana ketchup and of course the pasta has to really match this Filipino